what have y'all been doing? Huh? Nothing? Are you sure about that? Are you sure you've not been doing nothing? Hmm. Come on. Actually been several days since I've really videoed anything for YouTube. I've just kind of been in my own little funk. I've been writing a lot. I've been sharing a lot on our Instagram and Facebook and my blog. I just I felt like God was pulling me towards sharing more of that right now. So I apologize. These dogs. I also brought my milk bottles home last night because it was late when we got in and I was just tired. So I gotta walk them back down. It's absolutely beautiful. It rained all day yesterday, all day, which was probably part of my reason why I didn't video much. But it is absolutely gorgeous today. You know, alfalfa is really like, this is what it needed. Was a good, good rain. Um, I dropped a video this morning of uh, Shiloh's baby and there's going to be some playlists and different things going on with that. I was really struggling with like, what am I going to share with you guys? Hay season is done. Some of you guys only show up for hay. Some of you guys show up for the cattle aspects. A few of you come along for the horses and everything else. And I kept thinking, what am I, what am I going to be doing? These dogs, they're a mess. They're an absolute mess. But like, what am I gonna show you guys? It, it's really kind of played on my heart. Like, why do you guys show up? What do y'all wanna see? What do y'all wanna learn? Um, that was the biggest thing for me when we started this channel was I really, I really wanna teach y'all something at the end of the day, whether it's about farming or hay or, the horses and the cattle just just get something out of each video because to me I, I we watch YouTube we watch I don't know 10 or 12 channels kind of religiously it's kind of we don't have regular TV so our families on YouTube we get ingrained in them and we get invested in them and I hope you guys I hope you guys enjoy what you guys see here beautiful morning. A beautiful fall morning. These are my favorite. Um, I've just been kind of stumbling through. But the barn, the shop edition's up and we are working on getting things out of the horse barn and back together. We have several projects. We have a lot of fencing. The cattle barn needs to be extended on. So there's a lot of moving parts. I'm hoping there'll be enough content to keep you all coming back each day. So I just got done showing the babies. Um, I'm gonna go grab the feed. I'm gonna feed Shiloh and Storm. Um, and then I'm gonna take some feed out to the arena. I need to pull Leo and Rocky the pony out. Jason's got some trimming and setting up shoes for me to do this morning. Little side note, he is a, a licensed trained farrier. He just doesn't do it much anymore. Like at all. And then we just kind of have a busy day of miscellaneous stuff to get done. I think I talked about it on my Instagram stories, but um, I've switched Shiloh's feed um, from the Impact that she was on to the Omega um, 300 Omeline. Omeline, not Omega. I keep thinking Omega. But Omeline 300, it's Marin Full. It's textured horse feed. This is what it looks like, this um, Omeline 300 Marin Full. It's a textured feed, so we're feeding more of it because it's pretty lightweight. And then I'm also still continuing to give her the Oxy Mag 44 for um, high mag. Adds, adds it in there. So she gets two of these plus the mag. Leo's still on the performance impact. I really, really like this blend um, of horse feed for what we're doing from Perina. Good morning, mama. My baby.
Hello, Stormy. Hi. What are you doing? So we're setting up poly wire. I'll show you. Um, like, I didn't bring our favorite reel, as my favorite reel is already on some other fence. But um, we use these fiberglass step in posts. They are good. They're not just for the poly wire, but um, regular high tensile wire. The two inch tape. There's, they're dual sided. I I like these best. These are my favorite ones. Um, and then the Gallagher reel is my absolute favorite reel. Of course, I don't have one of those handy because it's up on the fence, but we are just going to uh, remake some paddock spaces so they can utilize grass. I really like the um, rotational grazing. I'll be honest, I wasn't sure how it would go when we first started it a couple years ago. Um, I'd always been raised with bob wire and hot wire and feedlot style cattle. So I just didn't really trust the whole uh, regenerative um, approach to cattle. But now that we do it, it's like absolutely my favorite thing. I cannot talk about it enough. Uh, we have our cows on one strand poly wire. He can give you more details. <laughs> no, I can't see you, you're so silly. <laughs> Ryder's like, I don't know what you're doing. Polywire! <laughs> you remind me of those, like, when they wear the big blow-up um, outfits, Jason. That's what it reminds me of. Let's take her back down just so she don't blow away. Yeah. It's supposed to rain again later. Tonight, tomorrow, sometime. So many of you guys ask why we don't use the horses. Well, we can't put out poly wire and post very well on horseback. Um, so we have to bring down either Jason's cousin's mini or we bring the pioneer. Um, hopefully, We'll have like four days of grass down here where we're moving them, and then I can bring the horses tomorrow if it's not pouring down rain. But the horses are not where the cows are. There's a four mile, five mile ride. And during hay season, I don't have time for that, unfortunately. But now that hay season is done, it's more cattle, fence, and pony time. Hopefully, like Meredith would say. Here's open. Hey, see, buddy. Come hi. Hi, say hi. Yeah, what about now? All right, so how to use these gray fiberglass posts? The nice thing about them are is they can you can hook them in this, or you can just slip them in. So you step in. And then, I don't know, put 1,200, 1,100 feet on your reel. You don't want to know much more than that. But. It gets heavy, and then it makes a mess if you don't wrap it and roll well, it right. It'll be under perfect if it's if it, uh, full length. Um, we have several different reels. Uh, we When we started two years ago, we just got whatever reels we could find at the beginning. And we've kind of narrowed it down to a couple different reels that we really like to use, obviously. 
Um, we already have these, so we use them still, but the Gallagher reel is my personal favorite reel, and I'll show you that um, it's actually on a different piece of ground uh, where the cows are at the moment. What's your favorite reel? The Gallagher. The Gallagher. One of the red and white ones. I think they're... I don't know what those are. I think they're O'Brien's. I don't know. O'Brien's. I don't have one with me, but we will. Get ready to roll one up now. That We're... might be right about some of the pants that I've been wearing. Um, these are the Ariat pocket ones. Pockets are ideal for me. I need to be able to put my phone and my knife and different things with me. So I wear two two types of pants. Ariat pants and the true work pants because they have pockets. And most girls want pocketed dresses. Well I want pocketed pants. So there's a tree there. <sighs> Had some water and uh, I just realized I need new bucks because there's water in my mucks. That's nice. Um, I need new buck boots. They're what? Terragate? He said that these are good reels too. They're Terragate reels, they're made in New Zealand. There's the thing called it, Terrigate. I'll link it in the description below. Yeah. You're leaving? Okay, so we are only snatching the poly wire at the, moment. at the moment. We'll bring them back down. These woods haven't had anything on them for. Hmm. A long time so we're utilizing the cows to come in and kind of do some massive cleaning up make them look a little bit nicer down here but you can see how high the water was in that one mm -hmm. right there. where the brush or the shrubs are I know that's plenty of water yep We have a lot of permanent fences where the cows typically are um, in those paddocks, but this is how we first started. Like we set up poly wire on that whole, whole farm. It was a lot of stepping in and stepping out, which is fine when you have extra time. Like right now, we're not in the field so we can set poly wire a lot smoother, but during hay season, we really just need to be able to open a gate, move cows, close a gate, and get to the field. What's your favorite thing about rotational grazing? Doing things like whatever I want with them, like this. We virtually can move them just about anywhere we want. A lot of people can. A lot of people can. Our cows are pretty calm. They, they have to be because we, we bring the kids out. Obviously, this is, you know, 
10 o'clock in the morning, so they're at school today. But this is how we choose to spend our time. And I need to walk back and get the mini. set up and I, I just love being down here in the woods i just i don't know i like to hike but something peaceful sets with my soul um i don't know i just i always find comfort down down in the woods and it doesn't matter which woods it is I just I enjoy it so poly wires up and then uh, we'll go move the cows down and then we'll go find what else we need to do for the day yeah he's a big guy what importance of um, earthworms and uh, bugs in the soil? They take um, cow's manure into the ground. To fertilize our soil. He's and a give big us, one, though. He is. He's a big, big He's a big one. Well, we better put him on that side so he don't get... I was going to say, save his life. Stick him on the other side. So he don't get trampled. Yep, because we're going to move these cows down here. Okay. Okay. Come on. You see mushrooms over there? I did, I seen them. Are they coming, you think? Sounds like Look they're coming. Yeah. Yeah, some pretzels. <laughs> I like the peanut butter pretzel ones, you know? Mm. I can't ever find them. Oh, there's a couple. Yep. All right, you better get up there. So he's going to go up and let the cows out. And I'm going to stay down here so I can video you guys, for you guys. They were um, on this one paddock pasture. Well, it's not pasture. It's actually our field. It's our hay field, but um, we're not utilizing it as a second cut just because of the way the season is. I mean, today is October 12th, so we're going to just use it for the cows. We put them out here, I don't know, two weeks ago, right after I got back from Colorado when we were doing corn silage, we moved them. Obviously, when you set poly wire up, you just can't do it. So I'm gonna stay down here, and I'm gonna video them for you guys coming down. It's a hill. Like I don't know if you guys can see Jason walking up the hill, but it's a good sized hill. <laughs> and that's why I didn't, did not walk up the hill. It's muddy and slick, and I would roll back down. Use his pretzels as the decoy. Uh, Come on, girls.
Some of these cows have never moved their calves before like this. Like the Scrug Judy cow, she knows the drill because, I mean, she came from it, but her calves never moved. Hey, Lazy Goose. There's another Greg Judy cow and her calf. They've never moved. Don't they look so good out there, guys? This is what it's all about. Happy cows, green grass, low stress. So got some stragglers coming down the hill. Well, we get cows moved, it took us like two and a half hours. Ridiculous. Uh, but that's because we took down polly wire, reset polly wire, and then moved cows. And now we are going to mix some feed up for Carol. The chickens are hungry. So we mix all our own grain. I'll put our feed ration right there. It's a little bit similar um, to the cattle ration, but it's got some extra stuff that ours does not have in it. multitasking you know because everybody does that i'm working leo to be used to everything staying inside quietly and mixing feed you know just a little bit of everything around here She's snotty. Just a little bit. I know the set last night. Yeah, Kayla's is, though. So well, this weather. one is. Other weather. The Come dust on. in the feed. Come on. Let's go. Let's go.